welcome back to another video. Ooh, what's that doing? My hair is like in the awkward stage right now where it's like not super short and it's not long yet and I hate it. So that's whatever. I'm going to see if I can sit you down. Nah, I'm going to have to hold you guys up. It's whatever. I am working right now. Um, and I figured I would just pick up my camera and see, or just kind of like fill you guys in. So it is Tuesday the 21st and I'm officially five weeks, according to my apps, because I still haven't been to the doctors yet. I scheduled my first prenatal appointment. I was making sure Hoppa wasn't going in my room at all. Um, I scheduled my first prenatal appointment for January 13th, which is still for like not not for like another couple of weeks. Um, so by the time I even get there, I'm probably going to be like eight weeks. Um, but that's pretty normal. I found out really early that I was pregnant. So, um, I just took a couple of like bump pictures and that was such a freaking nightmare. It was like, cause I'm, I'm doing it by myself. I like set up, um, like a studio light with the camera what's it called <laughs> it's not a stand what the fuck is it not a triangle what am I I don't know the thing that you put the camera on I can't freaking think of it right now um and I you was using my phone and I have a 13 max 13 pro max I don't freaking know what it's called um Connor got one like when we got to Maui and his camera quality was like so good that I wanted to get the same exact phone as him so I got that um and I took pictures with it and I don't know about the quality like I feel like the quality doesn't look as good on my phone as it does his so I texted him a picture I'm like does this look bad like I feel like the quality's not there and he just texted me back so hold on it's really hard to do this with one hand <sighs> this is hard. I will be right back. <laughs> or can I just I'll just do this. It's kind of like a weird angle, but we'll we'll get through it. Um So this is the picture that I got. It was like my favorite picture out of all of them. You can kind of see the reflection. And I'm obviously five weeks pregnant, so you can't see anything. I'm just fat. <laughs> so, uh, and I think that's like the best picture that I have. I don't know. So I am like, my hair is so disgusting and gross and I need to wash it. I'm a mess. Um, so yeah, I did that. I might just have him take more pictures of me later today because I was just trying to do it by myself and I'm going to go on Canva and kind of do it because I was going to get like the little like sticker. I don't want to put a sticker on my belly. That's fucking weird. I think that's weird. Um, and I was going to get a, uh, I was going to use, excuse me, I was going to use a It's not the chalkboard, but it's the felt thing with the letters. Oh my freaking God. <laughs> um, I have one of those and I was like, maybe I'll just use that, but I don't want to put a nail on the wall just to take it and I don't want to hold it because it, I think that looks awkward. So I'm just kind of like, um, I'm going to, I don't know if it's because I can't freaking think or if it's because I'm trying to work at the same time, but basically I'm just going to put a put just some text behind or like on top of my photo of my bump and I'm just going to do that gradually obviously I'm going to do that weekly um so yeah 
<laughs> so I was like trying to do that by myself because I don't want to inconvenience Connor. Um, even though he would be excited. Um, he's so cute though, like, according to the apps, like, the first, on the fourth week, like, the baby's the size of a poppy seed. So, like, he'll, like, talk to my belly and be like, hi, poppy seed, how are you today? How are you today, poppy seed? Um, I think today is the size of a quinoa, but that's just one of the apps. Let's see what the other ones say. I have like two other apps. That one's still saying I'm week four, but I'm on five weeks. But yeah, so as of right now, um, I don't have, yeah, or it's like the size of an orange seed. So, so exciting. Um, I don't have really any symptoms, just my boobs are super sore. Um, I have twinging like in my um, abdomen area. It's really just like when I'm sitting. <laughs> I don't think my body likes to sit anymore, um, but that's okay. Um, I've noticed I'm getting hungry um, a lot more frequently. Uh, like, I couldn't fast if I wanted to. Um, and when I do get hungry, it's like a very small window before, like, before I get super hungry to the point where, like, my stomach hurts. So that's interesting. Um, other than that, I, I woke up with a headache yesterday and that, like, made me so nauseous. But I don't, I don't know if that was anything to do with pregnancy. Because sometimes I get those headaches. Like, I get, I get headaches to the point where they, like, make me ill. Um, so I think that was kind of the situation and, um, I'm trying so hard not to take any sort of medicine. Um, but by the time, like I woke up with it and I woke up at like 545 and then by the time like two o'clock rolled around, I, I couldn't do it anymore. So I went to the store and I got some Tylenol cause that's the medicine that you can take when you're pregnant instead of like Advil, you can't take Advil. Um, so I'm, I'm age, and I think we have some, but like, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I actually need. I just know I need Tylenol. So I just got Tylenol. And I also got chicken salad when I was there because I was like, I'm hungry and I don't have any fucking food in this house. <laughs> um, so yeah, because Connor's dad is, well, Connor's dad flew in last week. He stayed for like a day and a half and then he flew to Kansas to visit my brother-in-law and he's coming back tomorrow. Um, and I think that I should have gotten more fucking food, but Connor didn't want to go full grocery shopping with me. And I'm trying not to like lift heavy heavyweights. Even though like I've been going to the gym because I still want to be like... So I did start going to the gym literally like three weeks before I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> um, so I want to make sure I'm not straining myself so if I can get Connor to like pick up the things of water and like the sodas and stuff for him that works for me but um he he gets very moody when it when it comes to the grocery store <laughs> so I have been going to the grocery stores by myself on Fridays and he he got off work early on Friday. Um, so I was like, do you want to go to the grocery store with me? He's like, okay, yeah, but like, what do we need? And I'm just like, okay, fine. We could just get the fucking drinks and like chips. Cause I like, I need, I need snacks because like when, like I said, when I'm hungry, like I need something like really quick. Like I don't have time to just sit there and make something like it. It feels like when I get hungry and then by the time I get like a little bit of hunger, and then like five minutes later, that's when I get full grown fucking hungry. It feels like I haven't eaten like in three days. Like it's, it's fucking weird. And I told him that. So like I need to get like um, stuff that I can easily just like pop in the microwave. Because it's bad. So like lately I've just been like eating protein bars like really quick. Because like when I get like super hungry. Because I'm just like, oh my god, I need food. I'm famished. But yeah, um, I went and got a pedicure yesterday. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I don't 
I feel like I don't even know how to vlog anymore. Um, I have a nail appointment today. And, like, my nail lady has, like, known for the past, like, year that, I, that Connor and I have been trying for a baby. So when I tell her, she's going to freak out. She's going to freak out. She's going to be so happy for me. <sighs> so that's going to be exciting. And hopefully she will give me, like, good advice because I hate reading and I got, like, three baby books and them shits put me right to sleep. Like, yesterday, yes, here's the thing. Yesterday, I was so freaking tired by, like, 7.30. And then I went up in, into bed at like 8.30, shut my eyes at 9, and I couldn't fall asleep. I was like, bitch, your body's tired, go to bed. But I couldn't fall asleep. Uh, and I, I feel like wide awake this morning. I, I'm trying not to drink any caffeine, so like I got Connor to get me decaf coffee, which I still think that there's still like a little bit of caffeine in there. Um, I think that's what I read online. Um, but I haven't had any coffee today. Um, I did make myself an uh, egg sandwich, and that was delicious. Uh, and, I mean, I got a hydro jug. This is actually for the gym. Um, and now that I'm pregnant, I want to make sure I'm getting my water intake in. And this holds 72 um, ounces. So, this thing is so fucking cute. So, I ordered, like, the jug and then the sleeve. And then um, I ordered the straw because straw comes separate, too. But all this costs like 30 bucks and it's so adorable and it comes with this little strap so you can carry it like a poise if you wanted to. And yeah, it doesn't keep your shit cold though. That's like the only bad thing, but at least it's cute. <laughs> and that way like I don't have to guess like how much water I um, have to drink throughout the day. So what did Connor say? I don't think the quality is bad. Um, it's just not like popping like we've come to be used to just just one <laughs> I probably will have time to like possibly redo the pictures if I wanted to I'm just being really fucking picky and I really shouldn't be because it's really not a big deal. Like, in the grand scheme of things, no one else is going to notice but me. Um, and that's the sad truth. I'm just being really fucking hard on myself. I forget where I am. Did I, did I do this? So, thankfully, work's been very slow. Um, so, I've just been kind of chilling. Oh, wait, I already did that. I did. Did I do this? I did do this. Oh my god, dude. I I don't know if this is like a pregnancy symptom or I'm just like fucking dumb all of a sudden. But like I just keep forgetting what I'm doing. I think it's also because I'm talking. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on really quick and kind of give you guys like a little bit of a breakdown. I really need to start vlogging again. I said that like once I made that little video of like the day that I found out that I was pregnant. Um, which was just like eight days ago. Um, but it's going to be hard with Connor's dad in town. I really don't want to like, I don't know, have to break out the camera. Plus, I'm pretty sure he probably want to be on, he probably doesn't want to be on camera. But, we'll see. Um, one of Connor's Christmas presents isn't going to be here on time because he told me at the last freaking second um, so I'm not gonna be able to do that, or I'm not gonna be able to give that to him, but he probably is aware of that. <laughs> I just got him, like a couple of sweatshirts from Old Navy because there's something else to fucking get him. He just wants a bunch of gun shit. Um, and that's another thing. So there's been lots of updates since the last time. So this is, um, the guest bedroom now. My father-in-law had, oh. He has some stuff in here because he's staying in here, but we're keeping it closed because this is technically Hoppa's room. Like, she literally, like, sleeps on that bed all the time. But this is the guest bedroom now, um, and I freaking love it. It looks awesome in here. No, Hoppa, stay out. I know, you want to come in here. But this entire closet in here is full of baby shit. Like, just full of baby shit. 
Um, so I have to literally go through all of that to see what I need. Um, and that's going to stay the guest bedroom. And we're going to turn the out. We're going to turn this room into the nursery. But it has all of the gun shit in there. So we need to get a... What's it called? A safe to put all the shit in there. And I told Connor he's going to have to move all the shit into the garage. Because I'm not doing it. No ma'am. But yeah. That is that our bedroom basically looks the same. We haven't really done anything in there. Um, and same as the downstairs, like we really haven't done anything. But I finally like completed that um, guest bedroom like two weeks ago. <laughs> like we found the little stand that the TV's on. It's like a, it's like a bookshelf, but it like fit perfectly with like the ambiance of the room. And we found it at um, home goods. So I got that like two weeks ago. Plus it worked out perfectly because his dad was coming into town and if he wanted to watch TV, he could. Um, and because the TV was just sitting on the floor. So she really wants to get in that room. What you doing? What you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hell it, which means like go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Um, and I will pop in here I don't know. Hopefully sometime soon, if I remember. Like, because I don't vlog too much anymore. Like, it's just out of my routine. I don't think about grabbing the camera, so. I also still need to, like, edit the first video, like, the announcement video, basically. Um, we still haven't really told anybody. I still haven't told my mom. He hasn't still told his, his, we, he, we told his dad because his dad's fucking here. Um, we still haven't told his mom, and I keep freaking asking him. I'm like, when do you want to tell mom? When do you want to tell mom? When do you want to? When do you want to tell Nana and Papa? And he's like, okay, we'll do it tonight. And then he just doesn't freaking do it. So I'm like, okay. Um, I'm probably gonna tell my mom um, on Christmas, hopefully with my brother and sister-in-law with her, so I can just tell them all together. Um, and that's it. Like, I pretty much just, like, kind of want to wait until, like, our first appointment. <clears throat> um, just to make sure that everything is okay and, like, there's a heartbeat and everything. Before I post the videos on YouTube. Before I make an announcement online. Before I really tell, like, all my friends and stuff. Because I've only just told uh, my best friend, Andrea. And she's super fucking excited because she knows I've been trying for a while, too. Um, I haven't told my friend, Megan, who I do a podcast with. The Bravo Junkie podcast. So if you're like super into like the Bravo, like Real Housewives stuff, you should listen to our podcast. Um, it's on Spotify. Um, I need to tell her. I'll probably tell her soon. I'll probably tell her before like the six weeks or before my first appointment. But okay, now I'm just rambling. So I will see you guys later. Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to be putting these videos together because... Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, today I am six weeks, um, according to my apps. I'm still kind of going off my apps until I have my appointment, um, which I don't know if I mentioned in the last clip. It is January 13th, so it's looking about like two and a half weeks, I want to say. Probably a little bit longer. No, it's like in it's like in two weeks and two days, I think. It's on a Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I am six weeks today. Um, I feel fine. Still nothing. I'm I I have the fatigue. Like yesterday I had to take a nap after work. And sorry, I'm trying to put dishes in the dishwasher. Um I, yeah, I had to take a nap yesterday after work because I was so tired. But then again, I didn't only, I didn't get that much sleep. I only got like six and a half hours. So it kind of made sense why I was tired. Like today I'm not super, super tired and I got a little bit more hours of sleep. But yeah. Um, so like no nausea or anything like that. Thank God. Um, and you say hi? You say hi, Mr. Beer? Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you, my love. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really to report on. Uh, my boobs are not as sore, so that's good. Um, 
I don't know. Nothing, nothing, I have no like symptoms other than like fatigue. So, um, my father-in-law was in town for quite a bit. Um, he flew back in from Kansas last Wednesday, last Thursday. And, um, ah, sorry. I don't know where to put you guys. Put you right here. So he was in town until yesterday. We dropped him off at the airport yesterday. I want to breath now. Um, um, so we had Christmas with him. We went to a Chinese restaurant inside Resorts World. That was pretty good. Um, gambled a little bit. Yeah, he put in a couple of parlay tickets for some football games that were that was on Sunday and he ended up winning so we had to go back to Resorts World. Um, but it was a good time just to hang out with him and just talk story and watch football and just hang out with him. Um, yeah, it was kind of uneventful. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas if he celebrates. Uh, didn't get too much. I got a Marc Jacobs um, mini tote bag in like a blue color. I freaking love it. And then I wanted the Ariana Grande Club perfume, so Connor got me that. What's going on with my hair? And then he also got me a Hawaiian bracelet that says Kuipo on it, which means um, my sweetheart. And I've been wanting a Hawaiian bracelet for a while now, so I'm glad that he got me one. Um, that was one thing that I didn't ask for, so it was kind of a surprise. Because usually, like, we already know what we're going to get for, for Christmas for each other, so. Um, yeah. I'm, like, almost kind of nervous that something, like, happened because I still don't have, like, really any symptoms. Then again, I know it's still super, super early. Um... Like, some people don't experience, like, nausea until, like, seven weeks. So, I mean, then again, like, some people don't experience nausea at all. Like, everybody has different symptoms of pregnancy. So, we'll see. Um, I just hope that everything's okay. It just sucks that, like, it's so far away. Like, the baby should have a heartbeat now. Um, and the baby is the size of a sweet pea, apparently. Like, according to my apps. Um, like one of my apps. So I have the Ava app, the Ava bracelet app, because that was what I was using to, um, that was what I was using to, um, like to track my basal body temperature. So BBT for trying to conceive. Um, well, according to my Ava, uh, Ava bracelet app, the baby is the size of a coffee bean. Um, but other apps like the bump and what to expect, um, I believe they say that the baby is the size of a sweet pea. So, that's fun. Um, I don't know when's a good time to like start a registry, but then again, like I have so much crap in that freaking um closet that. I need to go through, make a list of what I have and what I still need, and then make the like list that way. But like, Connor needs to move all of his crap out of this room that's just like straight ahead for me because that's going to be the nursery. Um, and I feel like just getting him to do that is going to fucking feel like going to the dentist and pulling teeth, I swear to God. So, that is that. I don't know like when when I need to do all these things like I am an overachiever and I'm not a procrastinator so I do things like right away like I already want to start building like the crib because we have a crib um, and all that kind of stuff like I want to already start putting it together but I can't so I don't know what to do <laughs> we'll find out soon enough so oh so I so I tried calling my mom on Christmas, and let me see how much battery. Hopefully I can get through this story, because I need to charge my um, camera. But I tried calling my mom on Christmas Day, 
and it just kept going to voicemail and I'm just like what the fuck so I texted my sister-in-law and I was like happy, or, happy Christmas Merry Christmas and she's like you too like hope you have a great day I was like you too have you guys tried getting a hold of mom and basically I told her that I just kept going to voicemail and she said that my brother tried calling and I went to voicemail well it ended up they ended up calling me later that day like when they were driving home from a couple of their Christmas activities and um my brother said that my mom messaged him on Facebook Messenger and was like, yeah, my phone, like, turned off and won't turn on again. Like, my mom needs a new phone. Like, her phone, I don't even know what the fuck she has. Like, it's so old. Um, It's a piece of garbage. It's like an old, old, and I mean old, old, ancient, like Samsung. Like, I don't even know what the fuck kind of phone it was. But I, like... I was like, okay, well, if you guys are going to, like, and they said that they were going to go over to her house on Sunday, which is the day after Christmas. I was like, okay, can you guys FaceTime me? And she's like, yeah, sure. So, um, we were FaceTiming, and I was like, my, you need to get a new phone. And she's like, I know, I know. Um, but I'm sitting there, and I was, and we were just kind of like, small talk, like, oh, how was your Christmas? Like, what are you guys doing? Open up gifts. Because, um, my brother and my sister-in-law have a four-year-old, um, she's my niece, Michaela. So, Michaela was opening up Christmas gifts, but she still has some left, but, um, but I was like, well, I have some exciting news, and, like, I was, I told my mom, like, last month that I was trying, that we were trying to conceive for, like, about a year, and she's like, you're pregnant. I was like, yes, and then my sister-in-law looks at me, and, uh, like, turns the camera to her, and she's like, read Michaela's shirt, and Michaela's shirt had, like, it was, it said, um, promoted to big sister due July 2022, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And she's like, oh my gosh, yeah, like, what the heck? And then, like, 20 seconds later, um, she's like, Colleen, which is my brother's other half-sister, um, Colleen's pregnant, too, and she's, like, around six, six weeks, too, so you and her are gonna be, like, do around the same time, and I was like, so you need to tell me that all of us are pregnant right now, and she's like, yeah, and I was like, what are the freaking odds, like, how exciting, so, like, me, my sister-in-law, and then my brother's other sister, we are all pregnant and do within, like, a month of one another maybe I don't know when in July that they're due but that's so freaking exciting and like that's crazy that's so crazy so I like I told her I was like I need like I already plan on going back to New York um, but now I really like we really need to go back to New York so we can get a bump picture all together and she's like yes you definitely need to do that so I plan on going to New York and like um, where the heck? I plan on going to New York. I was trying to go for my mom's birthday, which is in June, but if I'm doing um August, I don't wanna I, I guess I could probably still, but I don't know, I don't wanna risk it. So maybe I'll go in May or something, but what are the freaking odds that like my brother and his two sisters are and his wife are all pregnant? around the same and we're due all around the same time it's just so crazy but it's still so exciting so that's super exciting that all of us are gonna have a baby soon i mean they already have a baby but his sister his other sister um we're all like six years apart so his other sister is six years younger than me and then i'm six years younger than my brother so i don't know it's just it's so exciting. It's like such a weird coincidence, but it's like a fun, weird coincidence. So super, super exciting. Like we were freaking out. We were just like, no way is this happening. Like it was such exciting news on Christmas. So, um, I am going to charge my camera. Um, and I will check back in with you a little later. Um, cause I don't want this to cut off and not know where I am. So I will see you guys in a little Hey guys, it is December 30th I'm six weeks and I think two days um I'm gonna make this quick and quiet because Connor's upstairs using the bathroom but just trying to share my symptoms um last night I woke up for like a solid two two and a half hours so I was so freaking exhausted thankfully um I had a half day at work today um because of the holiday gotta love working for a bank and all that stuff so I had a half day so I ended up taking like a four-hour nap it was like on and off but it was like 
four hour duration. Um, but before I rested, I lay down for a nap. I used the bathroom and I wiped and I'm spotting. Now I know this is normal. But like some of the bleeding is like, and it's only when I wipe. It's not when I'm peeing or anything like that. It's, it's not like period, but some of it's like deep red. So like that has me a little concerned. It's kind of like tapered off though. Like it's, it's not always red. So I don't, it's like when I build up a lot, I think that's when it comes out like the deeper red. So I'm like mildly concerned, but I also know that it's normal. So I'm like looking online and um, a lot of people are saying that this is normal and they've went on to have like healthy pregnancies, but I'm also not having any other symptoms of miscarriage. So that's a plus. It just sucks because tomorrow for Banks is considered New Year's Day. So like I have off. So like I don't even know if I can go into like my OB early just to like make sure everything is okay but i also read online to like check and see like monitor your spotting and if it gets worse um or if it lasts like more than two days then contact your ob so i'm praying that it's just like one time and i also saw that it could be because of sex we did have sex last night um and that could be the reason why i'm bleeding so I'm kind of chalking it up as like me this like worrying. I'm really not trying to worry because um, at this point it just could be out of my hands. But I'm like mildly concerned but like also not. Like a lot of the things that I'm reading online says that it's normal. So just wanted to fill you in on that. Um, I'm starting to get like a minor headache. I don't know if that's from like the nap or what. The fact that I need to drink water. Um, I actually just filled up my hy my hydro jug with two water bottles, so I'm probably gonna chug some water. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to I, I just wanted to like pop in and um, kind of relay those symptoms because I'm just like kind of freaking out. And if I'm holding it like this, is because my arms are really sore from the gym yesterday. Because I went to the gym twice. Like I went Tuesday and Wednesday. Today's Thursday. And I'm trying to like do full body. So like now my my arms are starting to feel it. So I'm just like, oh, my arms hurt. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to document those symptoms. I'm praying that it's nothing. Um, but we'll see. So fingers crossed. I'm saying a prayer tonight. And it's in God's hands now, so just wanted to pop in and just tell you that little, geez, that little bit of information. So I will see you the next time I pick up the camera. Also, I just wanted to include this because I didn't say this. The only reason why I'm whispering and finishing this up quick is because I don't want to tell Connor because I don't want to instill fear in him. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm kind of keeping it to myself because I don't want him to worry, so... He's done, he's in the bathroom, so now I'm officially gonna go. <laughs> Just wanted to get.